Imagine this. You've decided to spend your summer vacation in Japan. Tokyo was your first thought, but Osaka won out, partly because your plane would land in the renowned Kansai International Airport, an engineering marvel built on two infamous sinking artificial islands. As your flight nears the land of the rising sun, turbulence kicks in, stirred by a major storm raging over Osaka Bay. Despite the rough air, the plane lands safely. But just as you prepare to disembark, an announcement over the intercom sends a shiver down your spine. Uh, due to high ocean waves breaching the runway, it's not safe to exit the aircraft. Please remain seated and enjoy complimentary refreshments while authorities address the situation. This might sound like a wild scenario, but something very similar happened on September 4, 2018, when Typhoon Jebby struck Kansai Airport. And here's the kicker. Despite being a $21 billion floating airport, it faced challenges that couldn't be easily fixed. On September 4, 2018, Typhoon Jebby, the most powerful storm to hit Japan in 25 years, unleashed its fury upon Kansai Airport. Ferocious winds and surging tides flooded the runways and terminals, forcing thousands of passengers and staff to seek refuge in the airport's interior. Stranded for days, they watched as the storm's relentless assault rendered the airport temporarily useless. This incident laid bare the unique challenges Kansai Airport faces, challenges rooted in its very foundation. The airport's plight is not just a result of nature's whims, but a culmination of visionary dreams colliding with geological reality. Osaka, Japan's third largest city, is a vibrant metropolis known for its rich history, economic prowess, and culinary delights. Serving as a gateway to the Kansai region, the city needed a world-class airport to support its thriving economy and accommodate increasing air traffic. Thus, the idea of Kansai International Airport was born, a solution to the constraints faced by Osaka's Atami Airport, hemmed in by urban sprawl with no room for expansion. In a bold and unprecedented move, planners decided to build Kansai Airport on an artificial island in Osaka Bay, aiming to minimize noise pollution and circumvent land limitations. The decision to construct an airport on water was revolutionary. Driven by Japan's post-war ambition and technological confidence, the project began in the late 1970s, a time when Japan was asserting itself as a global economic powerhouse. Initial studies and planning spanned over a decade culminating in the selection of a site 5 kilometers off the coast. This artificial island would be large enough to accommodate the sprawling infrastructure of a major international airport while standing as a symbol of Japan's engineering prowess. Building the island, however, was no small feat. Engineers had to tackle the challenge of creating a stable foundation in a region known for its soft, alluvial clay seabed. Over three years, an estimated 100 million cubic meters of soil and rock were dredged and transported to construct the island's base. To prevent erosion and stabilize the island, massive seawalls were built, composed of 48,000 specially designed concrete blocks. Each step of the construction process was a meticulous dance with nature, requiring innovative solutions to unprecedented problems. The most daunting challenge was the inevitable subsidence of the island. Engineers anticipated that the artificial land would settle, but the rate and extent of sinking surpassed initial projections. By the time the airport opened in September 1994, the island had already sunk 7 meters. Advanced monitoring systems and ongoing adjustments became essential to maintain the airport's operational integrity. Hydraulic jacks were installed to elevate terminal buildings and other structures, a constant battle against the island's gradual descent. Despite these efforts, Kansai Airport continues to sink at a rate faster than expected. What was envisioned as a stable platform has become a dynamic landscape, requiring perpetual maintenance and adjustment. The constant sinking has imposed exorbitant costs and operational challenges, casting a shadow over the airport's futuristic promise. Yet, the allure of Kansai Airport remains undiminished, drawing millions of travelers who marvel at its sleek design and marvel at the audacity of its conception. Despite the marvel of Kansai International Airport, its post-construction life has been fraught with unending challenges. The island's relentless subsidence continues to haunt engineers and administrators alike. Year after year, the ground beneath the airport sinks, adding complexity to maintaining its structural integrity. The airport's innovative hydraulic jack system has become a symbol of this ongoing battle. These massive jacks, installed to lift terminal buildings as the island settles, represent a constant and costly effort to keep the airport operational. The sinking has not only affected the buildings, but also the runways, 
taxiways, and other critical infrastructure, requiring perpetual monitoring and adjustments. The relentless sinking has also led to issues with the structural integrity of the airport. Cracks and warping in the runways have emerged as significant concerns, prompting frequent and expensive repairs. The seawalls, designed to protect the island from erosion and storm surges, need continual reinforcement as they settle and shift along with the island. Despite these efforts, the airport faces the specter of increased maintenance costs and potential operational disruptions. The logistical and financial strain of these ongoing repairs challenges the sustainability of this $21 billion venture. Amidst these challenges, Kansai Airport has seen impressive engineering adaptations to manage its sinking dilemma. The innovative use of hydraulic jacks to elevate sinking structures is a key part of the airport's resilience strategy. These jacks, capable of lifting entire buildings by a few centimeters, are periodically adjusted to counteract the subsidence. This process, though complex and costly, has become routine, ensuring that the airport remains functional. Additionally, engineers have employed advanced geotechnical monitoring systems to track the island's movement in real time. Sensors embedded in the ground provide continuous data, allowing for proactive measures to mitigate the effects of subsidence. In response to the constant sinking, engineers have also developed new foundation techniques for future expansions. Instead of traditional deep foundation piles, which can exacerbate subsidence, they are exploring floating foundation systems that distribute weight more evenly. This innovative approach aims to reduce the rate of sinking and provide a more stable base for new structures. Moreover, efforts to reinforce and elevate the seawalls continue incorporating state-of-the-art materials and construction methods to enhance their durability against the harsh marine environment. Despite the sinking and structural issues, Kansai Airport has demonstrated remarkable resilience in the face of natural disasters. Typhoon Jebby in 2018 was not the first nor the last test of the airport's fortitude. Over the years, Kansai has weathered numerous typhoons and earthquakes, each time emerging with lessons learned and improvements made. Earthquakes, a common occurrence in Japan, pose a significant threat. The Great Hanshin Earthquake of 1995, which struck just months after the airport's opening, tested its resilience. Thanks to meticulous engineering, the airport sustained only minor damage, showcasing the robustness of its design. Seismic isolation systems, which absorb and dissipate earthquake energy, were integrated into the structure, allowing the airport to withstand tremors that would have crippled lesser constructions. Despite these defenses, the airport's location on an artificial island leaves it perpetually vulnerable to the elements. Rising sea levels and increasingly severe weather patterns driven by climate change present ongoing threats. Kansai International Airport is at the forefront of engineering adaptations aimed at enhancing resilience. New seawall designs, taller and stronger, have been implemented to protect against storm surges. Advanced drainage systems have been installed to quickly remove floodwaters, ensuring that runways and critical infrastructure can return to service swiftly after major storms. Resilience has become the airport's defining trait, not just in its physical structure, but in its operations. Following Typhoon Jebby, swift recovery efforts saw Kansai Airport return to full functionality within weeks. This remarkable turnaround was thanks to the coordinated efforts of engineers, workers, and emergency responders. Temporary facilities were erected to accommodate displaced passengers, and repairs to the damaged access bridge were expedited. The airport's ability to bounce back from such a devastating event underscores its importance as a critical hub in Japan's transportation network. Looking to the future, Kansai International Airport faces a complex array of challenges. The ongoing subsidence remains the most pressing issue, demanding innovative solutions and significant investment. Engineers continue to explore new methods to stabilize the island, including advanced ground improvement techniques and cutting-edge materials. There's also a push towards sustainability, with efforts to reduce the airport's environmental footprint. Solar panels, energy-efficient systems, and sustainable building practices are being integrated to ensure that Kansai Airport can operate in harmony with its surroundings. Despite these proactive measures, the airport's future is fraught with uncertainty. Predictions about the rate of sea level rise and the increasing intensity of storms suggest that Kansai Airport will need to continually adapt to an evolving climate. The costs associated with these adaptations are immense, raising questions about the long-term viability of maintaining an airport on a sinking island. However, the determination to preserve this symbol of human achievement remains strong 
Ongoing research and development efforts aim to create new technologies that can mitigate the impact of subsidence and enhance the airport's resilience. In the face of these challenges, Kansai International Airport stands as a monument to human ingenuity and persistence. It's a place where dreams take flight amidst a constant struggle against nature's elements. As you reflect on the story of this floating airport, it's hard not to be inspired by the relentless pursuit of progress that defines it. Kansai Airport's journey is far from over, and its future will undoubtedly be shaped by the same spirit of innovation and resilience that brought it into existence. So, what do you think about this extraordinary feat of engineering? Are you amazed by the audacity and the ongoing efforts to keep Kansai Airport afloat? Let us know your thoughts in the comments below. Thank you for joining us on this video.